All right, and we're recording. So Nana had this question on homework 3.3, question eight. I'm gonna go ahead and provide a solution for that. So the question is right here. Two polynomials P and D are given, use either synthetic or long division to divide P of X by D of X and express the quotient P of X over D of X in the form like this. Here's our two polynomials and this is what we're asked to give. Okay, so I'm gonna switch to the whiteboard here and we'll go ahead and do this. Oh, that was question three, wasn't it? Forgive me. Here's question eight. <laughs> it says two polynomials, P and D. Oh, it's the same thing. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll write it a different way though. Um, the question is two polynomials, P, and D are given, use long division to divide uh, P by D and express P in the form P equals D times Q plus R. And here's our polynomials. Forgive the typo there in division. Okay, so P is equal to X to the fourth plus three X cubed minus 16 X and D is equal to x minus four. So it says just use long division to divide p by d. So the question is just to find the result. Oops, let me just do this. Over here. Let's find this result of taking x minus four and dividing p by it. So x to the fourth plus three X cubed minus 16 X. Uh, I gave a hint in class where I said, uh, if you can remember back a couple weeks, I said, always add these little, um, these little extra terms when there's a missing power. So here we're missing X squared. So I'm gonna go ahead and add just a zero X squared. And that'll help us keep track of things. I think, I hope. And then we've got minus 16 X. And I'm not gonna add anything down here. Uh, you'll see that we won't need it. So the question here is just, what number do we need to multiply this X by to get this X to the fourth? Now I say number, but really I'm talking about the, the number X. So number here, is actually um, a variable X. We know that X times X cubed is X to the fourth. So that's what we want. I'm gonna take this and write it here. When I multiply X cubed by X, I get this. And that way when we subtract, this disappears, we get zero there. But multiplying x cubed by this x is not the only thing. We also need to multiply it by this negative four. So x cubed times minus four is minus four x cubed. And now when we do this subtraction, we need to remember to distribute the negative sign and we get three x cubed plus four x cubed. That's seven x cubed. And then we just repeat the process. We ask, what do we need to multiply uh, this x by to get 3x cubed? 
So x times something is 3x cubed. And the answer there is, well, we need a 3, and we need two more x's. So that's just a 3x squared. So that's what we're going to put right here, plus 3x squared. That way, when we multiply this by that, we in fact get, oh, excuse me, what was I thinking about? Was I, I was asking what I need to multiply to get this three, but I think I needed to be asking what do I need to get this seven. Backing up a couple steps, I'm gonna change this to a seven. Forgive that error. And not much changes except for just that seven, that three changes to a seven. We want to eliminate this, not the three anymore, the seven x cubed. So plus seven x squared. So I'm gonna multiply it through. We get seven x cubed. When we multiply this by the x, we get a minus 28 x squared when we multiply it by the negative four, and then we're just gonna subtract. Here we have seven x cubed minus seven x cubed, so we get nothing, that's by design. Here we have zero x squared minus a negative 28 x squared, so we get a plus 28 x squared. And then we repeat the process, I think one or two more times here. X times what gives us 28X squared. This is just the 28. We don't have the coefficient on the left, so we need this 28. And we need one more X. This is just X to the first. This is X squared, so we need another X. So it's 28X. All right, so 28x times x is 28x squared. Uh, 28x times negative 4, let's see, uh, 112, I think. I might get a calculator and do that, just so that I'm not making another error. 28 times 4 is 112. All right, so we get minus. 112x, that's this negative 4 times the 28x. I'm just going to subtract again, repeat this process over and over and over again. I'm going to bring down the minus 16x. So we get this cancels to 0 by design, and we get negative 16 plus 112, that is 96x. Um, 12 minus 16 is negative 4, so we're just going to take that away from 100. So we get 96x. And then, last time we do this process, what times x gives us 96x? That's the easiest question of the day. It's the number 96. So we'll just add 96 here. Somebody's making something with a microwave. I'm sure it's delicious. <laughs> what are you making, Ebony? I don't even know. <laughs> something. <laughs> All right, so where are we at here? Uh, we've multiplied by the 96. There's nothing left to bring down, so we're just going to multiply this through. We get 96x minus... And here we still need to make sure we have this 96 times negative 4. Uh, you can just use a calculator and multiply that out, uh, or you could use the nice trick that 96 is pretty close to 100. So this is 400, essentially, minus the difference. 4 times 4 minus 16, so that's 384. Uh, or you can just use a calculator to double-check that. 96 times 4 is 384. 
So uh, with a negative sign, we've got this. Um, and then we take the difference. And we get positive 384. So here is the result overall. We get this quotient, so P over D, is equal to this part right here. So that's x cubed plus 7x squared plus 28x plus 96 plus we've got this remainder here. So first let me just denote this. This is I think part of how they want us to answer the question. Um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is part of how they want us to answer the question. We're going to call this Q. Um, and then there's this remainder, which is 384 divided by what we're dividing by in the original problem, which is x minus 4 or in this problem, it's actually just D. Okay, so the, in this question though, they ask us to give the solution like this. Um, they say, answer it. Like so, P is equal to Q times D plus R. So for us, all we're going to do is we're going to take this Q and write it like, like so. We'll take that X cubed plus 7X squared plus 28X plus 96. And write that all in parentheses in our solution. We're going to multiply it by D. So I'm going to write another set of parentheses here. Here are divisor is, is this x minus 4. So x minus 4 goes here. This is our q times d. And then plus our remainder, which is this whole thing times x minus 4. That gives us just this. So in this question, we're asked write P as a quotient times a divisor plus a remainder, and this is how we should write that out.